Welcome to a, another vlog. I am in New Orleans, as you saw from my vlog clips previously, and honestly, it's very humid, but the history and the architecture has gotten me so excited. And really, I mean, just excited in general, because just I love like learning more about a place, especially places I frequented, but it made me even more excited about my family story that I am working on um, slowly, but surely. So I don't know, I just, I'm feeling really good, feeling really good. And I got a gift card, so I've been like splurting. But unfortunately, I only got a grande soy latte. It's not fall for, like it's fall, like it's officially fall, but it's hot, like it's hot, it's summer honestly until like December but I wanted to tell you about what I'm reading before I start my Spanish class I'm reading two very exciting books right now and what makes me even more excited is I'm emotionally attached to the books already and I'm probably like a chapter in 20 pages in of both books one fiction nonfiction the thing that stands out to me the most is these authors have such like strong voices such strong like cultural voices if that makes sense but anyway the fiction book I'm reading is Salvage the Bones by Jasmine Ward. I'm not far into it in the description. I kind of read it when my comprehension wasn't really, you know, the best, but this book is about a family who they're just about to go through Hurricane Katrina and they they're just like they're living, um, they don't have much money, the mother's passed away, it's there. There's a young girl who I don't know, I'm I'm very early in the book, but in on the back of the book it says she's uh, going to she's motherless and she's about to have a child like she's gonna be pregnant but that hasn't been revealed to me yet but Jasmine Moore's writing I just feel like her writing style is so it hits you hard because she knows how to deliver exactly this emotional um impact with weight but I think the thing that I also like is that it's it's not relatable but it's familiar I don't know I don't know I'm still we're still early days but she was talking they're talking about the hurricane and this she said we ain't had one come straight for us in years time enough to forget how many jugs of water we need to fill how many cans of sardines and potted meat we should stock how many tubs of water we need and then like I don't know I just feel like that was just like so good because right now everybody's going back and forth or whether they believe the hurricane is coming or or not and things like that this came out in 2011 so I feel like everyone has read this but me I always feel like what that about a lot of books but also they're just talking about how she ate like top ramen all the time and like microwave foods but anyway this is really good and I just love I I think I've been intimidated by Jasmine Ward's fiction because her men we reaped like I was like I can't do anything else but so far so good and then the other book I'm reading which is also very inspiring in terms of like making me feel excited to write my family story as well as salvage the bones is shine bright a very personal history of black women in pop by daniel smith who is also one of my favorite writers ever and look we're having a good we're having a good moment reading okay but so this book is just a history memoir cultural look at black women in pop music and so far so good <laughs> so far so good i mean only I already got some tabs and I'm gonna end up annotating this book as well but I think as I mentioned Danielle Smith is one of my favorite writers as well and I think that as I mentioned they stand out because they're culturally they're beautiful writers but they hit me culturally like in ugh, what does culturally mean <laughs> they're beautiful writers and they touch something close to home and I don't know necessarily what that is about Danielle Smith other than like I'm learning I'm connecting I'm feeling all based on her words and so the first chapter was on the Dixie Cups who um they're actually from New Orleans which was another cool thing there are things that I learned I sent pictures to my mom about like a high school here that I'm like oh that's the origin of that or uh like that honestly it was really about the name and like how the place got that name and then how like just the, the legacy of that because I'm very into like the names of things and like how we name things and like the way things are named but yeah this so that one they talked about like a lot of New Orleans history cultural history Danielle's history like it's all connected it's so well done so 
those are the books that I'm reading and I'll update you with my progress but I'm very early into this this one as well so just wanted to tell you about those and I'm probably gonna go to a bookstore later it is already humid already hot I was sweating at like it's seven it's not even eight o'clock yet and I was like sweating so not sure much how not sure how much how long I'll be at bookstores and to be honest I don't think I'll buy anything either but if but you know you never know so also the reason I'm here and the reason I'm in a hotel and not at my mom's house because um we're having a surprise party for her later today which I'll show you like clips of but it's really cool because my mom watches all my videos hi mommy and I'm very excited to see <laughs> what she'll think like later today so that is all I hope you're having a great day and let's go have some fun back I am dressed for the party I almost fell out the chair but I wanted to talk to you about my day and the books I got so far so of course you saw I finished my Spanish class I walked around the French Quarter for a little bit it's been a hot day it's been a fun day I got to see two local bookstores used bookstores in the city in the French Quarter and they have this bookstore map that you can use to like 
support all the local bookstores in the French Quarter and then also in the cities, which is really cool. My Spanish class was great. I didn't get as much footage as I was walking around because I have been taking so many pictures of all the Spanish influence, history, placards and all these things. And oh, it's so cool because I'm studying Spanish again. And some of this history, I learned when I was younger and some of the history I completely forgot or never knew and I don't know it's just cool seeing it all now with all of this like new context new perspective like studying the language again very fun also I thought I was gonna pick up some books I picked up some books so I want to show you what I got so I got Jasmine Ward's first book what where the line bleeds and it's a novel set in Bo Bo I don't even know how to pronounce this Boy Savage. Uh it's set in the Gulf Coast, it's set in the same place uh Salvage the Bone. It Salvage the Bones is. And yeah, so this book is about it's a delicate and closely observed portrait of fraternal love and strife and the bonds that can sustain or torment us. So it's about two twins. I would say two brothers, but they're twins. Joshua and Christopher who were raised in that rural town and it follows the summer the way they have a life-changing summer and as they mentioned it's, it talk, it focuses on their relationship going through these things and their bond so apparently this is her debut novel and I'm reading Salvage the Bones now I'm not far in maybe I'll start with this one instead and go through the progression we'll see but I definitely when I saw this I was like I definitely want to support her so the next book that I got is definitely a book that I'm not going to read immediately but when I saw it I was like oh my gosh it's a too much to get into today the reason but it is La Literatura Peruana in el Siglo. I'm like, I don't know Roman numerals. Roman numerals. Is this like 20? So, Siglo 20? I think it's well documented here. I have like, um, is it like I'm in a session very passionate about Peru, the country? I'm just going to lean into it and we can actually talk about why. But I think the reason it's so prominent right now in my brain is because I did a presentation in class today about a Peruvian uh, athlete. So it was really cool it, just to see this, but also see it in Spanish. So I mentioned that this is like, I'm not trying to read this right now. It's definitely like an aspirational, um, not even aspirational. I do believe that my Spanish next year, two years from now, I really don't have like a timeline or a rush that I'm gonna put into when I'm gonna be able to advance, like how soon I'm advancing or whatever. But yes. My goal is to read this eventually. I have other books that I'm leaning into before then. Like I have my History of Peru books that are all in English. So we're good on um, learning about Peru and building up to this point. But I was like, I cannot pass this up. $3 for a book that I know is going to teach me a lot, even if I don't love it. So I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, there's a lot of French and Spanish language books in that bookstore that I went to, that first one. But there was also a lot of German and uh, books as well. It's like they're German language books as well. So very cool. Like I have never, that was actually mentioning, there's so many, that was like such the, lar that was like the largest selection of books that were in like French and Spanish and like, but of interesting books, like not just the Hobbit in Spanish, but there was a larger selection of interesting books that I've seen in a while in a bookstore. So that was really cool. That one was, oh no, that one was Beckham Bookshop. So, and then the last book is the one that I got from Crescent City Books and that is the Edgar Allan Poe collection. Look at this, okay? Look at it, it's beautiful. It's literally, it's just what it says it is. So Edgar Allan Poe, I've, read his work enough times this year but also within like my lifetime to realize you know this is one of my favorites ever of all time up there with Maya Angelou up there with that's really much actually up there because I feel like those two are like solid like I would buy a my I would buy a Maya Angelou uh special edition like this as well so I almost didn't get it but I was like you know what Yes, this has an introduction, get to know Edgar Allan Poe a little more in different stories. Cause right now I've basically, all I know is from internet searches or um, like the other books, like the other collections I've read. So this has like everything. And I'm so excited to become 
obsessed with Poe even more. And I need to find out if he's a Scorpio, but we definitely share a personality type based on like that 16 person. I don't know if it's 16 personalities, but me being like, I think we're both like an INFP, I think it is. But anyway, very excited about this. So yeah, so that's my updates. And for now, I'm about to go spend the rest of the evening with my family and enjoy the party. But I wanted to tell you about that, tell you about how my classes have been going. Till then.